hi everyone it's me indra welcome back to my channel today in this video i am going to discuss about some very useful functions like sum sum if sum ifs in microsoft excel please watch this video till the end so that you will be very clear about how to use such functions uh, to sum the numbers in the given range okay here i have prepared one table uh, it has three columns a b c and uh, each columns are named by uh, the specific or here the first column is for the goods second column for the quantity and this third column for the total cost and here are total two bell rows okay and among in this table okay among this data i am just going to use the sum function first okay let me just use this sum function okay we have to first press the equals and then type sum and then press tabs okay automatically sum function will appear here and the here argument of this function is numbers let me just uh, take the numbers to sum here i am going to sum the total cost here so I, and here i have just selected this range uh, whose sum is needed here and here the range is automatically selected as a argument okay and then hit the enter key and here we can see the result is 3250 this means the sum total sum of this total cost is here 3250 okay let me just uh, use uh, the next example for this sum function sum and then press the tabs and if i need uh, to sum the total quantity okay this range i have just selected this range uh, whose sum is needed here i want to sum the total quantities okay and then press the enter key here the result is 39 this means the total here are total 39 quantities if we sum sorry if we sum individually then the result will be 39 okay this is just the uh, sum function and uh, okay let, uh, let's go ahead uh, for the sum if function and sum if function is the advanced form of the sum function it sums the sum if functions uh, gives the total result of the numbers by using the given criteria it uh, sums the result sums the numbers according to the given criteria okay let me just use this function just by uh, equals to and sum if and then press the tabs and here the arguments for these functions are range criteria and sum range okay uh, the range the first criteria uh, the first argument is here the range okay let me just little bit zoom in first uh, the first argument is uh, the range okay this means uh, i am just going to sum i am just going to sum the uh, okay total cost of the okay let me just take this range okay in this range i am go just going to sum uh, the total cost of oil packets only okay so the range is here this range for which i am just going to sum okay and then comma and the next argument is criteria i am i am just going to sum i am just going to sum the total cost of oil packets only from this range so i have to select the oil packets as a criteria my criteria is oil packets because i am just going to sum the total cost of oil packets only so the range is this in which the oil package is available this is range and the criteria is this oil packet i am just going to do so the sum of total cost of oil packets only okay here i have just selected this oil packet as a criteria and comma the third argument is sum range sum range means i want to sum the total cost so i have to select this as a sum range because i want to sum the total cost sum range is just the range to which we are going to do the sum we are just going to do the total in this uh, total cost i am just going to do the sum 
of oil packets cost okay so uh, this range is just the sum resign then eat the inter key here the result is uh, 1273 this means the total cost of oil packets uh, oil packets in this range is just the 1273 here the total uh, oil packets cost is just uh, 1005 let me just use the sum functions here okay to check the answer is correct or not sum i want to sum the uh, total cost of oil packets this is one and comma and the next one is oil packets is here 130 okay and then hit the enter here the result is 1100 and okay and the, here the third one is remaining okay let me just do answer again let me just uh, edit here comma and the third is oil packets here okay this one and then hit the enter here the result is 1273 which is same as the sum if function sum if function uh, gives the sum of the uh, required value uh, of the required of the given criteria okay it gives the sum of the numbers according to the given criteria so here we have used the sum if function so okay, let me just delete this and let's move to the next function related with the sum it is just sum ifs okay it takes the more than more than one criteria okay let me just use this equals to and then sum if ifs okay and then press the tabs okay and the your arguments for this function sum range okay let me just take the sum range first i want to sum the total cost okay so the my range will be this and then comma range one the range first okay let me just take this range is the range first and in this range uh, my criteria the criteria first is just i want to sum the total cost of oil packets okay the first criteria is oil packets and then comma and we have to say uh, select the range two range two and is just this quantity okay I want to sum the total cost of oil packets oil packets and the condition next condition is that oil packets contain the quantity only five okay let me just take the next criteria criteria two criteria two is just I want to sum the total cost of oil packets whose quantity is just the five okay let me just take the five okay whose quantity is exactly five and then eat the enter key here the result is 268 this means this is the total cost of the oil packets total cost of oil packets whose quantity the oil packets whose quantity exactly five okay let me just do the sum here to verify the answer let me just use the sum to verify the function uh, to verify the answer and the, here the oil packets whose quantity is exactly five this is one uh, the sum is okay i want to just sum the total cost so and then comma and the next oil packet sorry here this is not okay this is the ginger okay i want to do the for the oil packets okay let me just use once again uh oil packets quantity five okay this one comma and then oil packet quantity 5 this one okay and then hit the enter here the result is 268 which is exactly same as the result of sum ifs functions okay this is the way of using the sum function sum if function and sum ifs function in microsoft excel to sum uh, the uh, to sum the uh, numbers according to the given criteria and without criteria okay this was for today. In our next video, we will discuss more about source types of the interesting and useful functions in Microsoft Excel. This was for today. Thank you all of you for watching.